Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to City Skylines, the After Dark expansion. We're currently sat, parked gently over our airport, our Eagle Airport, which is currently serving 452 passengers. It's nice. Going quite well. It's all fill in. We've got this uh, large estate that we built last time, which is, as we also said, slowly but surely filling in. Spider Industrial is slowly filling in. So basically, we need to let the game run a bit and, well, broadly, waste some time. And I think the best way we can do this is by filling this with water. Ignore this, this was just me playing around previously. To start with, we're going to dig a canal from here all the way over to there. I don't know if that's going to be successful or not. We'll have to wait and see how the water level works. We may end up putting some kind of dam in to divert it, which may involve drying all of the river up. Um, if it flows into here and then, you know, just gently dries away. But, uh, Let's play. We've got the cash, we've got the income, we need to let things develop. So, let's grab our deep canals. And realise we've immediately bumped into a problem because we've got a metro line in here. Well, drat. Drat and thrice drat, because to my understanding, if we go back down over to here, we can't cross the canal with a metro line. Okay. Looks like we might be having to do a change of plans. Hmm. So where does the metro go? Stops there and there. It's kind of, kind of an important district. Can we go round? Possibly. Let's have a look at the terrain map. Uh, just that one over there. Yeah, I didn't want to have to go necessarily too high. Because I feel that's just going to cause us problems. Okay. So, doesn't look like we'll be able to get our canal in. Well, that is just a little bit sad. Um, yeah, because there's no way we can have... If I put that canal in, because of how the game... Well, let's just do a quick check. Let's... Put a section of deep canal in to there. Let's get a section of metro and go down. Is that metro? Yeah, metro. Go down as low as we can possibly go. Let's change that to that. Can this go underneath that? No. Okay, if we go to... a section of the shallow canal... What does that look like? Well, it's much, much shallower, to the point where I think actually that that water level... Yeah, the water is not going to go up that. So, but let's just double check. Can we get a metro line underneath that? Yes. Okay. But that's not what we want, I'm afraid, because we need a deep canal to be able to get the water over there. Oh, well, other ways we could possibly fill this up area up over here is with, well, our refuse water. We've got an awful lot of refuse water over here. You can see the brown ring that extends around our quite pleasant island over here. I would very much like to not have that making this place look really unpleasant. So let's get rid of this. We've got three of them. We've got a nice cliff side here. Probably Spider Industrial is probably going to be filling in this gap. So I have no idea what's going to go in, in here. But what we can do is take advantage of the small amount of space we've got on this side. To put in... A water treatment system, whereby in we dump poop off the side of it into that lake, or what will be a lake, because it's below the waterline. If you check the terrain map mode, see, that's sea level, or the water level. So it's quite deep. So we should be able to fill quite a lot of water in it. So let's do that. We do actually need, if you check other things, we are running low on sewage treatment. So this will solve our immediate problem of having to worry about this. So. Oh, before we put new in, let's move old. Bring them all the way up over here. 
one. Yes, you probably will be working correctly because you're not plumbed in. Let's see how many close we can get these things together. Two. How much was it? That water drainage capacity is quite a lot. We're not going to be producing quite a lot of cleanish water. I mean, it's not going to be the nicest water, but we can make sure we can overcapacitize. If we need to, we can just put an extra row in. So let's pipe you together. Done, and then pipe that. To there. Let's see it back to Spider Industrial. Yep, and now we need electrical power. You produce up to 8 megawatts. Each one of you requires. Right, so we can just run on one of these. What's that, 7k? 7 watt point? Yep, yeah, there. Alright, and play. Now you're operating normally in the short term because you're adapting and there we go there's a canal full of slightly dirty water hoping it's not going to back oh it's flooding it's flooding quite badly over there but it's moving are we actually dumping more into it than it has capacity for yes it's beginning to flood wow Fortunately, these things being effluent truant plants don't actually seem to mind. But I wasn't necessarily intent on creating quite such a large waterfall. Actually, just having it come out of here was what I intended, but not necessarily flooding quite so badly. I think it is beginning to settle down and find a shape. Flood water is slowly receding as we move into dusk here. But yes, we are quite rapidly filling that up. And what's our uh, capacity at? Well, we've got plenty. I think it's partly because this is going downhill. Ooh. So the water level here ends up being flooding over there. So what we will do is we will quickly build a, another piece of canal over here which we're not going to connect up to anything we will move these briefly over here like so and probably the duo across as well and then we will delete that section there. So what we're going to do is we're going to angle our canal. Let's um, make it a deep one, shall we? Such that it's actually going to be going parallel as best we can. Or at least maybe maybe going in such a direction that we're not going to get such quite, quite so dramatic flooding, shall we say. So we want it to be parallel. Or maybe ever so slightly going up against. For a slightly deeper one, one of the contours, and then have it come down to there. It's all pretty much already mostly flooded, but oh, let's uh, trim that water line back before it gets in our way. And now this way, I think we'll probably will we will put them on just one side for now because you saw quite quickly that if you put them one on each side, you end up in a situation where it, there is it simply can't cope. <laughs> We're producing more effluent than the system has space for. Looks like we'll be putting. Well, I know what we can do. We can make it. Uh, we can make it two-ended. So let's uh, extend it on. Oop, my apologies. Looks like we need to move you. Extend it on by a few units, and then run it on down to here. 
Uh, no, that's a bit too much of a bucket scoop, I think, there. Just tipping it off there, I think we need to, uh, maybe go quite so deep. So we need to arrange you there, and we've got our last one. Here, and then we will come out that section of canal. Good, 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 good. Right, now we need to reconnect the power. As best we can. And now we've got some water piping to plumb in, which is a race. And we want to go to ding, 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 and ding. It is a happy ding, isn't it? So there'll be a moment where it just slightly works out. We plumbed in, we're not plumbed in, we plumbed in, we're not plumbed in. And all the water will go, where are we going to be going? Where are we going to be going? But I think having it open at both ends is going to help. So it'll be the usual thing where the water just kind of blumps and gumps and gloops as it is wont to do. Nice. And we will slowly but surely over time pump water from here into here and fill that lake up. We'll have to wait and see whether or not as it expands and fills what the actual peak point of the lake is, because we don't worry we'll do is have it overflow. I mean, I'm hoping if it does overflow, it'll dump off... It does not look like it will dump off that end. Looks like it might end up going this way towards the airport. We'll find out. In the interim, one thing I had noticed is we've got a beachfront along here. It could be nicer. It could be nicer indeed. And we do have the advantage of some way we can solve that, because we've got building on fire. Tough that. Oh, we wanted it as a curve, didn't we? There we go. That's a slightly nicer, in fact almost actually slightly larger shorefront along there. Just to tidy it up a little bit. We do apparently have some flying cars. Um, hooray for flying cars. I imagine when they say, yep, more flying cars. It's because this lot are having to adapt to the fact that uh, there's suddenly a bit more space out the back. And then we'll do the same along here. And suddenly, yes, we've actually substantially increased the size of all the properties along here which will help, which means I'll get slightly larger. And I imagine we will, may have a similar effect as we go along here. Yeah, there's a few of them have got a little bit bigger. It's good to see. Uh, the road structure along here is not conducive. Wow, I just realized we've got even more poop coming out over here. Okay. I hadn't spotted you. Sneaky poop. All right. In that case, we look like we will be extending this even further. Um, let's start dragging it across. I had completely forgotten about that poop. You can actually see, I'll point it out in a second when I go back for the next one, um, just how quickly if you look here and we grab the pollution thing, just how quickly this is cleaning up, which is really good to see. We can uh, just go on a simple... Uh, no, we've unconnected stuff, so we can't go on to normal speed. Is there space? No. Water level appears to be quite low inside the canal itself. So we will keep running these out. Before I put too many more on here, let's just double check we can actually run a pipe. We have to run a pipe like that to accommodate for the weirdness uh, yeah okay need a place we can get decent power there and there all right you're saying you are connected good we'll carry on popping down here grab one of these plant 
in. How are we doing for power? Plenty. So we can leave those ones as they are. And some water pipes we can get rid of in a bit. Tidy ourselves up. This is going to suddenly produce an awful lot more. But Operation Clean Beach Dirty Lake is going to be quite the success. Because we are in a position where we will no longer have crappy water being pumped out to sea. And this place has the capability the happy dingings of being substantially expandable. So we will move you to here. We can join in our wind farm out there. Right. Um, good, right, we've probably got structures we don't know what we need. A couple bits of them. And a whole rig. Of pipes we don't need. And again, yeah. Nice. Alright, I suspect. You're not connected, how? Okay. There we go. We're going to have some water level bumps and uh, bounces. And it figures out what to do. Police station is on fire. Okay. Well, I'm hoping the fire service will deal with that. So we've got some pretty impressive flooding. Is it going down? Nope, doesn't appear to be going down. So we've just got a substantial amount of flooding. So the answer to the question is no, that was not enough to prevent flooding. So we've not got a controlled release of water right now. We've got a hillside covered in treated sewage. Flowing down, causing us a lot of problems. So what I am going to do is I am going to move you over to there bring that pipe out across to there delete that one plug you in grab the canal button apparently we need to move the one that's on the other side as well Canal, canal, canal. Spoosh. Can we move you back? Yes, we can. All right. Now that's kinked in a little bit. Is that enough to get the water out? And flowing down the channels. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. So I think if we're going to be expanding it, we'll be expanding it along here. Well, maybe if we want to put extra in here, we will need to make sure we're plenty. But yes, there we go. That lake is filling up quite nicely on the effluent of the city. This is uh, dawn begins, we look out over our lake with bacteria, I suppose, and other nasty things that live. Well, no, it's Basically, we're creating a dedicated habitat for gut flora and all the other bits and pieces you get. Um, lovely to see our income coming up quite so nicely, plus the extra people. So, Spider Industrial is filling up, and we've got, still got people complaining about a lack of jobs. Mitochondria projects. Not enough goods to sell. That would be because the industry doesn't have enough things to support you. Not enough educated workers. 
plenty of there, plenty of them, plenty of that. You're fine. We're good on capacity. Not sure that we quite need that many green buses on this route. I suppose just because of the length of it, the number of stops, they've decided to make sure that at any given time, within line of sight, um, you've got at least six buses. Um, let's just uh, double check which route that was. There's a mitre internal. has 94 vehicles on it. For 30 stops. 94 vehicles serving 10 passengers. So we've got 0.1 of a passenger on each bus. That's um slightly screwy game. That's really kind of expensive. <laughs> um, where's our budget tab? Budget buses. Yeah. Um, nope. Resume. I don't really know how to adjust that. Um, why do I have 94 buses on one route? Five residents, five tourists. Hmm. And we've got another one here with 30 stops. There's only got 24 vehicles on it. We've got longer routes. It's just, for some reason, the game has decided that what this bus route really needs is 94 vehicles. That's absurd. I mean, look at the... There are so many buses on this bus route, it's actually causing traffic. Even though there's no other traffic in the area, we've got bus traffic. That is a uh, kind of special game. That is kind of special. Well, I'm just going to leave it be. It'll just be an exceptionally well-served bus route. 94 of them. <laughs> well, it is a busy district. And you wouldn't want to end up a situation where you weren't able to catch a bus. Kinda weird, kinda creepy. Let's quickly check on our junctions. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you should be parked on that bit of road. I don't want anyone parked on that bit of road. You guys don't have enough educated workers anyway. That's one. No one's parked on that bit of road. that one out as well. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay, right, fine. Good. So, today's episode, or this episode, or today's episode, this episode that we've done today was hopefully an intending about putting a canal in through here and using pure, clean, beautiful river water to flood a lake we've got, to create some kind of beautiful internal water system. Slightly disconnected piece of power line. Obviously, it's not an immediate problem because people aren't complaining. All right, I'll fix that in a sec. What we have instead, done, ladies and gentlemen, is filled it with shit, and I think it looks fine. I'll probably create a district edit in a bit. Thank you very much for watching. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines with the After Dark expansion in the town of Animalia. Where do we put our poop? We put our poop in over here. I just, I did see the red things in the distance. I'll fix that in a bit. Bye for now.